Well, the Appalachian Trail runs for 2,200 miles from Maine to Georgia, and experienced hikers usually need months to go from one end to the other. Jennifer Farr Davis did it in just seven weeks, the fastest time in history, and she had a lot of help from her husband, Brew Davis, and they both join us now. Congratulations to the both of you on a successful mission. Um, you've had a chance to rest now. Rest. <laughs> it's going to take months, I think, to rest, but we're, we're enjoying our time off of the trail. Yeah, you've got some video, some great pictures of it. What was it like when you finally uh, got to the end, crossed the finish line? You had a nice little welcoming committee there. Yeah. But what was going through your mind? What was the feeling? It was completely overwhelming. Uh, we had worked so hard for 46 days to get there, and I think at the end it was just this release of all emotions, of, yeah. of happiness, of sadness that it was over, of fatigue. I mean, everything could finally just come out. Yeah, Brew, do you have any doubt in your mind that she would be able to do this in record time? Um, I, I would never say doubt. I think there was uncertainty. I mean, you just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, the, the last time she did the trail, the very last day, she almost stepped on a rattlesnake, and that would have ended the, ended the record attempt right there. So you, you don't want to count your chickens until they hatch. and, and yeah. uh, and so when, when she was about a mile away from the summit of Springer Mountain, that's when we felt like we could breathe, breathe <laughs> yeah. a sigh of relief. And, Home stretch. Yeah. 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 Jennifer, is it, more, is it more physical? Is it more mental? Um, that's how a good, do you approach something like this? It's a really good question because it's so intensely physical that I, I struggle to say that um, it's just as much mental. But yeah. in the end, I think it is because, honestly, there are guys who have gone after this record who are faster than I am. Um, who um, maybe have more experience than I do in races, but to mentally wake up each morning at 4.45 a.m., consistently move throughout the day, not take breaks, stay focused on this final goal through pain, through bad weather, yeah. through hardships, it's a mental game as much as a physical. Yeah. But what are you saying to her throughout the course of the days as the days wear on? I just try to stay positive, and when she needed, when she needed more encouragement um, I tried to give that to her when she needed sympathy I tried to give that to her but what, what, kind, yeah. of what kind of pace were you keeping how many miles a day are you hiking how many hours um, well the average for the entire trip we averaged 46.93 miles a day for okay. 46 days but you break that down and really for us it was just three miles per hour yep. and that's doable anyone can do three miles per hour but we were doing it for 16 or 17 hours a day. So it was really long days and a really consistent pace. So what's next for you two? Uh, well, what do you do? What do you hike next? <laughs> <laughs> well, we rest first. Yeah. And then uh, there's so many trails all throughout the U.S., all throughout the world. And the great thing is most of them are free. They're yeah. available to anyone. And so um, there's a lot of other hikes that we'd like to do and, and hopefully focusing on um, family. Maybe one day if we have kids, we'll be able to... Little hikers. Yeah, little take hikers. them out exactly. there too. Go a little slower with <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. That sounds great. Thank you both uh, for being so here with us. Congratulations. And there's so many other records out there for you to break as well. <laughs> Jennifer and Brew Davis, thank you both. Good Thanks. to see you. Thanks for